Hi, today we're gonna make the pasta with potato Neapolitan style, pasta e patane, con provola. We start with ingredients. So this is the basis of every Neapolitan soffritto, onion, celery and carrot. I normally freeze it for convenience. Lard or bacon. Potato for two person count 600, 700 grams. And 100 grams each of this thing, these guys, 100, 150 grams of bacon, tomatoes, likewise, and 150 grams of provola. If you don't live in Italy, it may not be easy to come by, take, like I did, the provolone, a bit of pecorino, rosemary leaves, and we use the crust of the parmesan to give flavor. Normally we do with mixed pasta. In my case, I just using this uh, fusilli, ready to go. Okay, so we start, make sure that the pan or pot is hot, bit of olive oil. Okay, then we start with the lard. Okay, let it melt a bit and give some flavor. So I couldn't film it because my phone would have fell into the pot, but let's say after a minute, a minute and a half of cooking the bacon and having flavored the oil, you add the basis for the soffritto, so the carrot, the celery, a bit of a chili pepper and the onion. See now the, the heat came down because also I'm using always a frozen carrot, celery, and onion, just because, you know, buy them fresh, put in the freezer, and so I already have them cut, and all in the dose, in the quantity I need for the plate, so there is no waste. That's a nice system. Okay, now the potato is roasting a bit. Make sure it doesn't stick to the, the base. So now we will add rosemary, don't cut it, because then you can pull it out. And then we put the crust of the parmesan. This thing will melt, it's unbelievable and it gives amazing flavor. And you can put either concentrato di pomodoro, a bit of tomato paste, or like I do, just fresh tomato. And let it stir for another minute. Now, you cover with the hot water, boiling water, up to covering it. And now everything is covered. And you lower the fire, you put it to a soft medium, you cover, and let it slowly simmer for 30 minutes. Halfway through the cooking, that's how it looks. Okay, now the 30 minutes are over. Just take some of the potatoes and I quickly mix them to make it a bit of a pulp together with a bit of uh, the juice. It's nice and so the consistency will be better. It's the mixer. Okay. Put it back in so this will give us a nice consistency okay so now i have increased the heat and now it's time to add the, the pasta and cook it for whatever is the cooking time on your pasta okay normally we're supposed to add water hot boiling water here there is already quite enough i will just add a little bit more Remove the rosemary sticks, always taste and adjust as you go. Don't follow just an algorithm, you're not a computer. So we try. So this one is missing salt. 
to me it looks it's ready so now I remove from the heat and I will add the cheese you always add the cheese without fire so we add the, the provolone the pecorino last thing a bit of olive oil raw for the flavor and if you like even another piece of chili pepper up to your taste we're ready impiattiamo and here it is you can see this the parmesan crust which is all totally melted and that's how it looks like mm, can wait to eat it if you can wait five minutes it gets even better you see because the sauce becomes more compact bon appetit